Hey guys, long time no see. I really haven't gave a proper like life update after the Golden Guardian situation. So here it is. So the story out there regarding like me and what happened on Golden Guardians is very incomplete and in some cases very incorrect. I signed the NDA so I really can't say anything so we'll keep it as is until the NDA ends in the two years since I signed it. Moving on, I moved to San Francisco about two months ago for a job. I can't announce what it is yet, but it's still very much video gaming related and I'm very happy with my job. I do miss Los Angeles a lot. I miss my friends, I miss the food, the late night ramen, just being able to see my friends, but I mean, I'm still happy in San Fran and I visit Los Angeles very, very often. As you guys noticed, um, during Worlds and even before Worlds, I've been putting out a lot of YouTube content. I also stream every day. And I really want to thank everyone for their support. It, I mean, doing content isn't possible without the support of multiple people. And it's been really like touching in a way, like all the editors that's been helping me and especially a special shout out to Thorin who really, really helped me a lot. I can't believe I'm fucking thanking Thorin in a vlog. <laughs> Things feel kind of wrong, but yeah. Thank you everyone that make the videos possible and especially the fans. Without you guys' support, there would be no video. Speaking of fans and support, I recently got criticized for how I was arguing on the show. And before the show actually happens, I encourage every guest to speak their opinion and have arguments and discussions with me because that's what I think makes for an interesting show. But after reading the Reddit comments and going back and rewatching the show, I could definitely articulated my points better and kept the arguments and the discussions real without really making the show hard to watch for some viewers and I definitely plan to do that in the future. I really wanted to make points about burden of execution on scaling and how teams have limited hours in a day that they can practice and they practice certain strategy and it's very unrealistic for them to practice everything or practice something that might not be as prevalent or rewarding in the meta but I didn't get to really make any kind of those points and it really turned into a yelling match or just talking over each other between me and Les and sometimes between me and Veteran and yeah like that's not what I want the show to be about I want arguments and discussions in the show but I wanted it to be more coherent and more logical and more back and forth between the both sides more so than just straight yelling at each other. So I apologize to anyone that watched the show and had to kind of get like a negative vibe from it. That's not the intent or the point of the show. It's to be educational and interesting, which I'll make sure to be in the future. So I actually talked to a few of the Riot casters and analysts to see I could appear better on cam. <laughs> they really didn't give me any kind of good or straightforward advice but a lot of general things that I can work on and hopefully I can show in the future shows. As for my speech and lisp, my lisp is something I've been trying to fix ever since third grade. It's been incredibly hard because um, I live in San Fran and I work a full-time job and then I go do content and stream afterwards. It's incredibly hard for me to go to a speech therapist but it's something I will try to make extra effort and extra time to do in the future because if I'm going to be appearing on cam I want to present the best version of myself to you guys so all the content is easier and more fun for you guys to watch. Oh, a big question that people had was, is the Doran and Loco show over after Worlds? And the answer is we have one more episode and then we plan to make another full-time show twice a week that we plan to do regularly until end of time. <laughs> Maybe until, I don't know, me and Doran start fighting again. Anyways, to end. Thank you guys all for supporting me. I've been really enjoying doing content again and your support means the world to me. Like, even like the haters, like haters, like sometimes you guys leave me negative comments that I really can't do anything with, but some of it is very constructive and some of it has very pushed me to change my behavior for the better. Anyways, I'm not crazy. I'm just loco. Bye guys.